In today's video, I'm going to give you a next level copywriting trick that's going to help you understand how you can start to explain something to your audience that they could not find believable if you don't explain it the right way. I'm Lori Reeves, founder and CEO of Brand Strength, and I help entrepreneurs master the skills that are necessary to attract and obtain more paying clients than ever. Okay, so we're going to talk today about how to get your audience to believe something that is probably fairly unbelievable to them right now. So a lot of times, depending on what you do, you might be helping your clients do something that they don't currently believe they can do. So how do you help them build that belief that you can actually help them get there? There's a uh, copywriting trick that can be used. I read about it in this amazing copywriting book. It's called Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz, and it's one of the most well-known copywriting books of all time, but it's a pretty expensive book. I paid $125 for it, and I know that most people who are not people who study copywriting don't have this book and don't have access to it. So it is a little bit of an exclusive tip, and so I wanted to share it with you and break it down a little bit so that you can understand how you can help people cross this belief gap and start believing that you can actually help them achieve something that seems unbelievable right now. So Eugene Schwartz calls this gradualization, and basically he's just saying you're going to get somebody to gradually believe more and more things that you say so that at the end when you make your big claim of I can help you do this, it's actually believable to your audience. So there are a couple of ways that you can do this. First of all, you can start with um, something that's very similar to what you're talking about, but breaking it down into things that are believable. So like if you're talking about building a six-figure business, to somebody who's making $5,000 a month, building a six-figure business may seem like a stretch. I mean, that's basically going to be doubling their income. So they may not be able to believe that. But what you can talk about first is something that is very, like it's just breaking that down into smaller parts. So you could talk about how um, a, a six-figure business is something that your audience would automatically believe, okay? So you could say something like, this many people in the United States have six-figure businesses, okay? So that's something that most people wouldn't be able to refute. And if you said the, the statistics of the number of uh, businesses that make six figures, that would be believable by your client. And so you have them saying, okay, yes. And then you start adding on to little things like to do this, this, you'd have to do this. And if you can believe that, then you continue moving on, right? Instead of starting with, I can get you a six-figure business or I can get you to be a six-figure earner, you're starting with things that aren't so person-focused but are just more ways for you to get them to say, okay, yes, I believe that. I will continue reading. The other way that you can use gradualization and building on beliefs is by using an example that's not part of what you're doing broken down, but is kind of a metaphor for something that you can, you know, equate it with. So you might say something like, we all know that a peanut butter sandwich can be made in three steps, right? Get your bread, put your peanut butter on it, smack the two pieces of bread together. Voila, peanut butter sandwich, right? And so that would be something that people would be like, well, of course, it's easy to make a peanut butter sandwich. And yes, I can agree that those three steps will produce a peanut butter sandwich. And so then you're like, building a six figure business can actually be just as easy. It's three steps. It's do this, do this, and do this. And voila, you have a six figure business. Now you can do this in broad strokes where you're not saying like each step requires all this stuff, but you're starting with them saying, Yes, I can say that that's believable, that if I can achieve this and achieve this and achieve this, then I can get my whole uh, goal that I'm trying to reach. So this again, this is called gradualization, and it can be done in different ways. So I just want you to kind of take this concept and roll it around in your mind and play with it a little bit. 
what can you do to build a bridge between what your clients or your particular audience believes now, whether it's about aspects of what you're doing or pieces or parts of what you're doing, or if you can't think of something like that, what metaphor could you use to show that there's something that's easy to do? Yes, I believe that's easy to do. This is very similar to that. Match it up with the steps and say, it can be this simple to do this. And then you have a belief bridge getting people from what they currently believe to what you want them to believe in order to be able to have a conversation with you and possibly move forward. Because until somebody believes that you can actually help them achieve the goal that you're saying you can help them achieve, they're not going to be interested in talking to you. That's going to feel like a waste of time. Like if somebody said to me, I can help you lift a thousand pounds. And I'm thinking like, there's no way I could lift a thousand pounds, even if I wanted to, right? I don't even know if anybody can lift a thousand pounds. I'm just being honest here. But if somebody said that to me, like you'd have to get me to believing like, okay, I can actually see the path to making that possible for me. I'll go ahead and talk to you, right? It's the exact same concept when you're making a claim that your clients ultimately right now don't believe is a possibility for themselves or they would be doing it themselves, right? So a lot of times what you're selling is intrinsically unbelievable to your clients because they're not currently able to do it. So you just need to build that belief bridge to get them to saying, okay, I'm putting my trust in you. You say things that are believable that I already think are true. So it just logically makes sense that if you say all these other things that I think are true, that this thing could be true as well. So that's my next level copywriting tip for you this week, Gradualization from the great book Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz. I hope this was helpful for you. I'd love to hear what you come up with to build your belief bridge. So if you want to comment below, that would be fantastic. If you like the video, give it a like. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to my channel because I make a video every single week where I help you understand the things that you need to know how to do to communicate with your audience to attract and serve the people that you most want to serve. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you again next week. Mm -hmm.